exciting news. We're doing day number two of our giveaway. So to be entered in that giveaway, make sure you guys smash the like button on this video and then go in our description or in our bio and click on Ibex Training and BC Visions. Make sure to go to both of their Instagram pages and give them a follow and we will pick a winner and give you guys a lifetime subscription to our Ibex Training plan, whichever one that you want, Ibex 60, Ibex Home, or even my training program. So make sure you guys do that and we will announce the winner in our next video. But now to talk about what we're doing today. So we're gonna get into a really awesome workout. We are gonna start with some heavy rope double unders uh, and then some single arm dumbbell to shoulder to overhead, which is my least favorite. I don't love dumbbells, but I'm getting comfortable with them during all of this at home stuff. And then finally some sandbag squats. You guys know I talk about sandbag squats a lot. I love them and it's gonna be a good one. Pat and I are gonna go head to head on this one and we're gonna see who can come out on top. All eyes on the way I vibe when I walk into the room Wind blows underneath the soles of my brand new pair of shoes I got the attention I'm on a mission No sweat in the way I step I got a fresh new attitude Oh my, my, my Oh my, my, my Call me a king You can buy me a crown no So we went 50-35 on our dumbbells. So there's really no reason to set it down. Um, I think that's a good weight sometimes just to practice moving quickly and forcing yourself to hold on to it. So I'd choose a weight that you could definitely hold on to. If you don't have a sandbag, you could go you could double squats, go 30 double unders, 20 shoulder to overhead, 10 per arm, and then 20 goblet squats just to get a nice burn on your legs. And it's a good one you could do at home. Um, but I love the sandbag squat forces you to keep your chest up and sit back and down into your heels a little bit. What do you think? Uh, yeah, that was a burner. Uh, the air is also really crisp. Yeah. So breathing that cool air with like a really hard burner like that, just was, it was a challenge. Um, all high power output, heavy rope, got your heart rate up, right into shoulder to overhead, which by the last few is a struggle. And then same thing with the sandbag squats, just high out power output the whole way. Really quick, not big enough rep ranges to take a break anywhere. It's just pedal to the metal. So I'm sure you guys noticed that during that workout, Pat and I are using different sandbags. So we've gotten a lot of questions. So I kind of want to touch on what sandbags we were using. So the one that I'm using is a hundred pound one from Rogue. So it's their strongman sandbag. And you can see it's pretty much in a ball in a cylinder. So it resembles a D ball. And it's really nice when you pick it up. I like to roll it on the side. And then I can get my arms around it really, really well and hug it into my chest, just like if I was picking up a D-ball. Um, I think this one's a little bit easier than what he's actually using because it's less awkward. It's more right in your torso. You can squeeze it in tight and pop it over and it's less floppy, so it's way more condensed. Where this one, which it's great to have both, is actually a strong man bag. So you can see uh, the strong fit. Um, and this is made by StrongFit. So for this one, we have like what resembles a lacrosse ball and a ring. So the cool thing about these bags is you can order a pack. So for the gym, we ordered, I think, 100 up to 400 pounds for five bags. So each bag can be filled to different weights, where for this one, this is designed to be a 100 pound bag. For the StrongFit one, it's a little bit harder because there's all of this slack and it's a little bit longer, so it's tougher. It's, it's more of an odd object to pick up. Um, so I always, when I pick it up, I like to flip it so the ball goes between my legs, and when I roll it, and I get it to my thighs, and now, when I drive it over, I like to think about extending straight up and squeezing my butt. So this one is much harder to take from the ground to overhead in one motion, you're definitely gonna wanna use your knees like you would see the strong men do when they're doing their boulders or their stones or things like that. So different styles of bags are great for different things. Um, I really like using the strong man bag for front loading sandbag squats. I'd prefer to clean the rogue sandbag. I think it's easier to get over your shoulder, but they're both awesome and they're both super great if you wanna do any sandbag work. All right, so that was a good workout. We're gonna end with some abs, strong midline. 
will benefit everything and anything you do in life and in your CrossFit or whatever fitness that you're doing because you're gonna be able to support your spine. And so we really wanna make sure that we spend time working on our midline. You do it in your workouts. So while we're doing dumbbell shoulder to overhead sandbag squats, you're always keeping your core tight and you're engaging it, but now we're gonna specifically work on it. So what we're gonna start with is every minute for 12 minutes, so it's an EMOM, and we're gonna have four exercises. So minute one, we're gonna do V-ups. The scale would be single leg alternating V-ups if we lose it by the end. Uh, minute two, we're gonna do a hollow hold with flutter kick, actually with scissor kick, wrong week, with scissor kicks. Don't mind my handwriting. Minute three, we are gonna do Russian twists and you can hold a plate if you want to, but this can also be all body weight. And then minute four is gonna be leg raise plus a hip lift, which we'll show you. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four rounds. So it's on the minute, every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. And it's gonna be four rounds, have 30 seconds on, and then 30 seconds rest. And I know that sounds like a lot of rest, but when you're specifically doing midline for 12 minutes, over the 12 minutes, so maybe round one's not bad, it becomes round two and round three where you really start to need that rest so you can make sure that you're working at a high intensity for the 30 seconds that you are working. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Our abs came for our, from our new at-home bodyweight abs. You need nothing but yourself, and I promise you're gonna get a great burn. Uh, we love those workouts. They're super awesome. You can do them at home. You don't need a lot of space. So make sure you guys check that out, and then also don't miss the giveaway. So make sure you head to our bio in our description and check out all the information. All the details are there on how you can enter uh, because we have some super awesome things like a lifetime subscription to any of these training plans. Who wouldn't want that, right? Uh, um, but I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and we look forward to bringing you guys lots more fun stuff. Stay healthy, stay well, and have a great day.